Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Valentina. In today's video I am going to show you how I created this makeup look. This is very easy to do for every day this fall and I've used some of my favorite makeup products. So if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching. For my eyebrows I've used this Anastasia Deep Brow Gel. With this mix you can snatch. I have the deep brow gel in the shade blonde and the lift and snatch in the shade brunette. This is what I like to apply on my eyebrows lately. I think they work uh, very good together. And then I'm going to move on to foundation. And for my foundation, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. It's a great foundation and cover everything so nicely. I really like it. I've been taking out and it's affordable. I'm going to use this Miss Pure Pro to apply the foundation. I usually apply this foundation with a sponge and I get a more dewy, natural looking finish with it. But for today, it might be more matte because I've applied it with a brush, but I also like it this way. So it depends on how you like to apply a foundation and uh, what works best for you. I like the finish of this foundation with whatever I apply it with. It's something I could rely on on those days when I have a lot of breakouts and I really want uh, a more full coverage uh, look with my foundation. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to use this Bondi Spray Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's very very nice, but you only need a tiny amount of this one because it's very very pigmented and full full coverage. And because it's doing a great job as a uh, eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use it uh, in this way as my eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to spread this uh, on my eyes with a brush. I have this Real Techniques brush. And because I'm not going to use any cream products for my complexion today, I'm also going to set my face and I'm going to use this Fit Me Matte and Poreless to set my under eye, my eyes and my face. I really like this powder and it's amazing if you use the correct amount. If you dip your brush in it and you get a lot of product, this will have like the, the opposite. It will make your face look cakey, dry, and uh, your makeup will not last. So you have to make sure to take not so much of it. Dust off the excess and then spray it all over in slight tapping motions. In this way, you will have a flawless finish and your makeup will last longer. It's not helping me a lot with my pores, but uh, other than that, uh, it's good. I always, always powder my face and uh, I like to use powder. For my bronzer, I am going to use this Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Worth. I really like this bronzer, it lasts very good on the skin and they look very, very nice. I haven't beat me out and I use it all the time in my day to day basis, so um, it's so good. It's a very blendable formula and sometimes it's good to uh, have a blendable formula in your collection because in this way you control the amount you want to apply and to layer until you get the finished result that you like. Moving on to blush, I'm going to use this blush colorette by Maybelline in New York. This Fit Me blush is very very nice. I have it in the shade 10 buff. It's a pretty color, it's very soft in the pan, but on the skin 
you will have a natural blush that look natural and pretty. So I really like it. It's another build-up formula, so again, you will not make any mistakes with it. I sometimes like to go over the bronzer with my blush, so uh, that's what I did today. I went with this uh, blush over the very uh, bronzer and uh, I think they mix uh, very well together. So my skin is looking very matte right now and uh, in order to give uh, my skin some light, I'm going to use this Dior Backstage Face and Glow Palette. I haven't used this one in a while, so I'm going to mix these two shades from here. Let's move on to the eyes and the, for my eyeshadow palette today, I'm going to use this Tees by Tarte. I really love to use this for an everyday look, but also for a night out. And I think it's great for this time of year, for the fall time. I have to say that I used all of the shades from here. I hope I don't need a brush or with my fingers if I need a brush and I don't have too much time. I hope I don't need to do my fingers and uh, work very very nice. I'm going to do a soft uh, smoky eye look and I'm going to take this whisper and spray this all over the eyelid. Make a great base for the rest of eyeshadows. For my face I'm going to use this wing, this one from here as a transition shade. I'm going to pinch the brush and use uh, the same wing eyeshadow color on my lower lash line. I'm going to spread this first kiss all over the eyelid with the brush. Okay, I'll use the same color on my under eyes. I use the same brush by Wish Studio Pro for everything I used so far. And next I'm going to use with Heartbreaker. I'm going to take this crush with my fingers. Not too much. With a smaller brush, I'm going to take this buff and put this uh, on my outer part of the eye. I don't have uh, like a glittery shadow in here to put it on my inner corner. So I'm going to use this Dior, this the lightest shade from here. And because I've used this one since I got it, uh, I'm going to use this uh, today. This Light Primer Quick and Easy by Huda Beauty. It's very, very nice, I have to say. I like that this has a very, very fine tip. And uh, if you just want to follow your lash line, it's great. Don't smudge and uh, don't uh, bleed on the eye, so it's very, very nice. And to finish with the eye look, I'm going to use this mascara by Benefit. It's one of my favorite mascaras of all times. It's so, so good. And uh, I'm going to quickly apply this and I will be right back. The mascara is on. I really like how the eye makeup look uh, turned out. To finish the makeup look, I'm going to apply something on my lips and I'm going to mix two products for today. This Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in Rusty Pink with this Fenty Beauty Gloss Pong in Fussy. I'm going to apply this too. I'm very curious to see how it will look. I'm usually that type of person who likes a good matte lip. 
but uh, for today I'm going to change it a little bit and uh, use a gloss, why not? As I said, I'm not a big fan of the glossy leaves, so I think I'm going to get some of this shine and apply something on top. And uh, I'm going to go over with this Yves Saint Laurent Pet Wash with Pure Matte Lip Stain. I think it will complete the look uh, better. Okay, I think I like it better with it. I have this rouge in the shade 16. It's a matte lip stain and uh, will dry out, but because I have the gloss bond, I don't think uh, it will dry out uh, very soon. But I like the finish now, so that's it for today's video. This is the finish makeup you saw it. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you like it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also ring the bell to be notified when I upload. I post every week, so make sure to hit the notification bell. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!